Okay. Let's put ourselves now in the presence of our dear Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and then Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement of our sin, for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion, in hostible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. O oh, greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O oh God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O oh Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through. And know that by our own power, we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will or through our life, and at death's heart. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence. As your children await your son's final coming, that they known to you alone, and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness, for Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. Horatio Imperata, protection against the COVID. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, 
pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have seen against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, Forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Yes, yes. 
Novena Prayer. Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We do have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual health, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as your our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our mother of perpetual health. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health. Pray for, pray for us. us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for, pray for us. us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. 
loving mother, loving mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble, apart like your son, Jesus. Loving mother, pray for us. Pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving mother, pray mother, for us. Pray for that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray Loving for us. Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray Loving for us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, Loving mother pray, pray for us. us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, Loving mother pray, pray for us. us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, Loving mother pray, pray for, for us. Amen. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving, Loving mother, mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, Loving pray, mother. For pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving mother, Loving mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving mother, Loving mother pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community, in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. Pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving mother, Loving mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving mother, pray for us. That we may depend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray Mother, for us. us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, Loving pray Mother. for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to us to you to ask them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick especially. Hi, kamusta ang Pilipina? Hi. Magkano ito? 100. Ha? Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Memorari, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who have pleaded to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come. Before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in the mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer for financial help to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Realizing, dear Mother, that you are our perpetual help, not only in spiritual, but also in temporal necessities. 
we ask you to help us in our present financial worry because of an unavoidable circumstances which have arisen in our lives, we are in a great want and financial embarrassment. Since we are unable to meet our honest debts, we are not asking dearest mother of perpetual health for wealth if the possession of it is not in accordance with the will of God. We merrily ask you for that assistance which will help us settle our present obligations. We believe, dear Mother of God, that you are extremely kind and generous to all your loving and devoted children. We plead with you, therefore, dear Mother, obtain for us the help we are gently need. We are trying so earnestly to solve our problem but believe in your powerful intercession with our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Redeemer. Amen. Prayer to Mary in time of temptation. Mary, my mother, your love for us could not be greater or more powerful. You are rich in love and your power brings us relief. We want everyone to be saved. I beg you, therefore, protect me in temptation and strengthen me when I am weakened. I struggle daily to be faithful to Jesus, your son. Help me, my mother, at every moment. But above all, take me by the hand when you see that I am weakening and about to fall. I will have to battle with temptation till the day I die. My lady, you are my hope, my refuge, my strength. Never let me lose the grace of God in every temptation. I resolve to turn to you at once and pray. Mary, help me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.